I know you. You're that one who spends countless hours swimming, biking, and running. But did you know that it only takes a few tries to master the transitions? And they can push your performance beyond your fitness level. Leslie Patterson, this month's triathlete cover model, shows you how to smoothly roll through those transitions. Leslie's wicked transition abilities helped guide her to a podium finish at the Xterra World Championships in 2009. Let's get started with T1, the transition from swim to bike. You're gonna wanna keep swimming until your fingers dig into the sand. Take one more pull and jump onto your feet. Once you're on your feet, grab your goggles and put them on top of your head instead of taking them off. This will keep your hands free to strip off your wetsuit. Run to your transition area, remove your cap, drop your goggles, and forcefully push your wetsuit toward the ground by the waist. Now rather than putting your cycling shoes on while sitting still at your transition rack, try a flying mount. Take a running jump onto your bike out of T1 with your shoes already clipped into the pedals. This can shave important seconds and set you up for a really strong bike leg. Now the flying mount is a little tricky, so you should practice it several times before race day to nail it like Leslie. Here's step one. Click your shoes into your pedals before leaving the transition area for the swim. You can use clips or even rubber bands to hold the shoes upright on the pedals rather than allowing them to dangle and flop upside down. Two, when you run out of transition, there's likely to be a cluster of people fumbling the mount right at the mount line. Get past this congestion before jumping on your bike. Three, lean into the handlebars to support some of your weight and decisively jump while throwing your right leg over the saddle. Four, rather than landing on your backside, try landing on your inner thigh and then slide in onto your rear. And five, put your feet on top of your shoes and accelerate up to speed. Slide one foot into its shoe and re-accelerate before sliding on the next shoe. Now you're gonna come back into T2. Like the flying mount, the dismount is another time-saving opportunity that can give you a slight edge over your competition. Step one, pull your feet out of the shoes about 400 meters away from transition. Make sure you have a little space between you and your fellow racers before pulling one foot out of its shoe and placing it on top of the shoe. Two, as you approach the dismount line, move your hands onto the brake grips and decelerate to a moderate speed. As you roll toward the dismount line, pull your right foot over the rear wheel and stand on top of your left shoe. Three, spring off your left shoe in the final meters before the dismount line and land on your right foot and run your way into transition. Re-rack your bike quickly when you get back to your transition area and undo your helmet. Grab your running shoes by the tongue and the heel and forcefully yank them open to slide your foot in. Sink the elastic laces on the first shoe, then do the same with the other. Now rather than putting your accessories on at your transition area, grab your nutrition belt, visor, race number, and anything else you plan on running with and head for the run out. You can strap them on while running toward the transition exit and head out for the run. Good luck with your next transitions. Hopefully they'll be as wicked as Leslie Patterson's.